hey guys welcome welcome back to my channel i'm so sorry if there's echo as you guys know the drill we are living in an empty house today i thought we'll share with you guys some 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 small small things that i have been collecting but this time these things are going to be used for the bathroom not a lot in my opinion so i actually picked up one thing yesterday i'm going to show you guys like <laughs> you guys will love this where should i start from let me start from some let me start from this store my bathroom is a very i don't think it's small i think it's big but i don't want to do like too much the bathroom should be very visible and very useful for everybody even you guys like even if you guys come in my toilet which that's my aim now i'm gonna be actually people and anybody enter this house they must enter that toilet because it's the most <laughs> You guys know how I've been hiding my whole toilet for everyone. But I just want it to be very easy storage space and everybody should find what they want. So I have a lot of storage baskets, not a lot, but I did pick up some. I did pick this up that says storage. Which one should I show you guys? Okay, this one. Well, I think I pick about three. I've already used one. This is definitely gonna stay on my shelf. As you guys know, I did a shelf in the toilet and this i'm going to be storing like my body cream the ones that i'm not using i bulk buy things the boys body cream is actually a very big basket if you are being a follower of me you would know i have the laundry basket of this one and i do ask and i do you guys ask me oh abby where do you get those baskets from they're actually from matalan and that's the same one as this um so this one just says storage the other one that i have is actually two as well i like to buy my things in two threes fours like that that i have two it says laundry it's the same pattern you can remove those clothes i wash them i dry them i put them back they're very very beautiful you can also like just take it out on its own and this is where you get just by itself so it's literally multi-functional but i would always have this bag in it and i'm going to be storing all my creams my hand wash my body wash anything i know i'm not using um, i'm going to be storing it here i like to differentiate things because i live with men in this house so <laughs> The boys will have their own stuff in here, like their cream, their oil, their deodorants, the ones that they are not using, like the spare one, and I will have mine there. Of course, I'm going to show you guys how I decorate the bathroom. As I said, everybody will, will be able to access my bathroom if you come in, and I think it's going to be nice because my bathroom was one of those ones that I hated in my old house but my bathroom in this house will be the one that i would love like i would love and i'm ready for it let me show you another thing that i pick up from matalan or should i do all the stores first or should i just be picking whatever i can get another one is this um basket as well but it's the one that you can you can literally like hook to the bat with this i think we're going to be putting our soap in here our sponge because i like when we finish using our sponge it dries up i don't like you know just leaving it there and the whole water is just all gobbling up together and i don't want to be hanging things so i feel like if we leave it here the water drains out and it dries as i mean it's open i think b and him has got something similar but i like the the square shape of this i think the one in b and him is a bit like curved I like this shape way way better so this also was from BLM online I don't know if you find it in store online what else did I get from BLM not BLM I'm so I'm so sorry guys my brain this day is, is a bit early in the morning it's a bit doing com com that's from Matalan another one is this basket I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this because it's a bit pricey that's why the tag is still there it's about 14 pounds the good thing about buying stuff in the uk that may i like is that even if you buy them if you don't like them i think with this store, i think you have 14 days or 30 days i'm not sure how long i'll play around with it in the house if i don't like it you can always return it that's what i've been playing around with this i wanted to put this in the basket no in the bathroom but it was too big for the bathroom but i like it i like the black i like the wood color and everything it would also it wouldn't go with like that my plants over there you can use it for anything 
thin. I can see why it's 14 pounds. It's also got like this leather hand in here. It's really, really pleasing to the, to the eyes. And I can also use it in the kitchen. I've been using it for something in the kitchen. I've been playing around with it before I take the tag out and show the receipt to it. But every time I look at the price, 14 pounds for just a basket. And also, I have been looking for something similar that I can use to replace this. If I find it, uh, I think I'm going to return this and I'll just keep that. That is how I buy things. If I like things, I'll bring them to the house, see where it would work. If it doesn't work, I take it back because I've got like 13 days to or is it 13 days, 30 days or 14 days, depending on the store. So you have to read your really return policy. But I really like this. I like the color. I like how sturdy it can be multi purpose, multi, multi functional. But is the price for me 14 pounds for baskets? It's it expensive, but it's just really expensive. So that is this one. Can you guys see this? I just think it's really really nice like i don't think if i keep this i would ever regret if i don't use it downstairs i can use it in the living room as i said my plants there i can put it i can put blankets on this i can use it in the kitchen i can use it in the bathroom but not in my bathroom because i don't also the thing is in the bathroom i don't want things to be too cluttered because i've got kids i don't want them to be knocking things away falling things so i want it to be that's why i got all the storage i can hide things away and the floor can be bare but i really i really like this basket but i don't know i just don't like the price People know me, I don't like, I don't like expensive things. But I, I like expensive things, but I don't like it when it's, it's, it's taking all my money. <laughs> the next thing, this one is definitely going back to the sender. This is what you call back to the sender. I really like this um, tray of a thing. But the one I want is, I want the one that I can put on top of the sink. Not at the side, because you know when you pull all this, um, what they call this thing? Did they write the name on it? They didn't write the name. When you put it on where the sink is, the thing is, it creates like um this marks and all that. But I want to put it where the water is. So I want, but this one, this one didn't fit. It was too big. So I want something smaller. That even when we wash our plates and we want the water to drain, all we just do is put it in the sink, and the water can drain, and we can empty the plate or clean the plate. This one is just ridiculous price. It's definitely going back to the center. 10 pounds for this but I, I i like the aesthetic in it it's literally my kind of vibe this is what i would definitely use but with the wooden thing here but it's just the price 10 pounds i mean i did see the price but i was like let me go and see if it would stay on the on the sink but no it's not doing what it's that one is not giving what it's supposed to be giving so it's definitely going back and it's expensive it's not me and you Anyways, where should we move to? Pound shop. I got more stuff from Pound shop. And this, if you guys still see this in your Pound shop, this is two pounds. This is more of what I would like. Like this, like this, two pounds. It's okay. I mean, you can use this as a spice rack. You can use it as, um, I don't know what you want to use it for. But what I actually had in mind to use this for was in my bedroom. But we'll talk about my bedroom when we get to that stage right now we are in the toilet we're decorating the toilet but i have been using it i put it in the toilet and i'm going to show you guys what i've done with it that would not be the end part of it but because i don't have my load i mean all my stuff is still in my whole house and i don't think i would get them till the middle of october or even maybe the end of october so i'm just trying to make this place really really homey and all that so the way i I have to redecorate the toilet is not how it's gonna be for a long time. I mean, I, I always change things all the time. But this is so nice. It really works out for the space that I use it for. And you guys should come back and we're gonna decorate the toilet together and the bathroom together. Toilet and bathroom is the same place, by the way. So I like this. If you see it in your bathroom, pick it up. The next one is from Primark. You guys know I definitely have to go see what Primark is called, but they also have this basket. This one, because I need, I need, I need storage. I need places I can pull my stuff. This one, I definitely know I can pull like my sanitary pads, you know, or my tampons. I just arrange them in here and I'll just stock them up on my shelf. I do have three 
three tiers um what's that thing called again shelf so i can put my tampon in this i can put my hair products my miscellaneous and i like the fact that when you put things in this basket you cannot see it that is the point of baskets you know one of my pet peeves is seeing a basket that you can see what is inside except to if the things are arranged clearly but if they're not arranged clearly and you can see the mess then there's no point putting it in the basket you might as well just put the mess out but when you have a a basket like this that you can just chuck everything inside you can hardly see any of the mess but that's just me just being too extra i like things to be neat and tidy so this was from primark i think it was about three pounds yes definitely primark never primark never um for my hands when it comes to their stuff and also the price that's why me and primark were friends because they know how to do their stuff three pound not bad they have it in different colors if you want but you guys, I would always stick with my black. They suit me. Don't I look cute in black? I do. TK Maxx. Do you TK Maxx? Oh, let me do this because there's a story behind this. So, you guys, I have found my own mommy friends. Like me and Anna, my bestie. We are bestie for life. She was watching the vlog and she did see that I mentioned that I would love to have, you know, those bath tray. Um, for the boys and for myself as well and she messaged me like of course me and her friends we are friends okay <laughs> so she messaged me she was like oh abby i saw this in little no audi i'll show you guys she was like oh abby i saw this in audi i don't know if you want it i know you mentioned she actually liked Jaden. i think she only messaged me because she knows Jaden would want to she wanted, she wanted me to get it so that JD can use it, but I really like it. So I went to Lidl. She said she only, I think she said she saw about five left. So, no, Audi. I am not an Audi girl, I am a Lidl girl, but this is my area. I think Audi is the popping place. There's a Lidl as well, but I think Audi is the popping place. So it was my first time going to Audi, and I picked this up. I didn't even see it. Then I messaged her, no, she was messing, we were both talking, and she was like, oh, did you find it? I was like, no, I was asking the people working there, and the guy was like, no, because she sent a picture to me, so I was showing it to the guy, I was like, oh, please, where's this? And the guy was like, they don't have it. And do you know, she ran down from the bus, guys, <laughs> I was so shocked. She came off the bus because I was telling her on the phone that I can't find it. So I think she was around the area. Then she, I was so shocked. She was she just tapping. She was like, that's it, that's it. And she ran off. She knew exactly where it was, where this was. And I think when she said she saw it, there was only five left. But when I went there, there was only three left. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Again, you guys know Aldi always come with all these things. When you see the grab, it's called grab your copy now. So um i picked this up there was a man behind me he was like oh this is nice and the man took, took one <laughs> the man took one as well but the, where they hide this you will not find it because i was looking everywhere and i didn't see you guys know how audi or little can be sometimes like you just have to be patient to find anything but i'm so happy that i got this even though even though it's a bit Lick a tiny bit big and that's just being me being extra it's a bit tiny bit big like out it comes out like i really wanted it to go in and it's also extendable if you guys don't know so it would fit a bigger tab but i feel like my tab my my top is a bit small but it's okay we'll manage it we'll use it i mean it's not that bad it's just me thinking overthinking the whole thing you know i like things to be a certain way and i think this is so cute can you guys imagine those days let me i want to make sure i let you guys see. can you guys imagine those days when i want to have like a nice bum bath that my bath eh? i can't wait to be able to like collect all this lush bath bum and oh, guys you guys will be tired of me because the way you will be etching inside this bathroom with me you feel like i've been is it my first? You don't want to see this battery make it you must see it my first by fire. Bat bomb in this, get my iPhone, ah, so trying to get my get my phone, get my glass of wine. Literally, what they've done in here is what I'm going to do. Um, I do read some books, but that's the interesting one. And some books that they do bad stuff. I like to read those books. Just chill in the bathroom. Even this my toilet has a door. The toilet in my house does not have door. So I have lock, lock my door. We want those children if i see you upstairs 
just stay in the bathroom just enjoy oh i mean i can't wait i can't wait for this enjoyment i'm just waiting for all my stuff to come and i'm all settled in and you know i can't wait i love it this was actually i think it was 11.99 and you know if if think it was only reason why i would return this is if i find another one that fits properly it's not bothering me but it's just a Virgo in me. Let, let's make it like that. Like I just like things to be perfect, <laughs> and it's so bad. That's the reason why I'm gonna keep this. I have read the terms and conditions for Audi. Guess what? I can return it within 60 days, so I don't have to run. Okay. The last but not the least set of place was um, TK Maxx. I have been going in and out of TK Maxx a couple of days now, and I'm just like, what's wrong with you guys? When are you guys gonna get your hats together, please? Please? But, guys, I've been staying away from buying candles. I want it to be comfortable here before I get candles. But I pick up some. You guys know I only love my DWO candle. These are always my favorite type of candle. They smell so good. I don't know, I don't know what anyone has got to say, but these are so nice. This one is called Vanilla Cupcake. My favorite one is the birthday cake. I smell so good. This one too also smells really, really nice. So what I'm going to do is, because I know I've used all my DIY this thing, but I can still smell like the carpet, the mixture of the paint and things in the house. So I wanted to start burning this thing quick. I was like, let me show you guys before I start burning it. So I've got about six that I'm going to put in every room. One in the kitchen, one in the living room, one in the hallway, one in the boys room, one in the bathroom, one in my room. And stuff like that i actually picked this one this one is called friend given and it's by dwo i think this is definitely gonna go in the boys room it's not too much and it's not um too loud and they actually like it when this when jordan so it's like oh no this is smells so good i really really like the smell is the one um what's the thing called it's just the one thick one and this was actually cheap this was 5.99 i think this will last in their room for about maybe two months because it's just small small like now that they have gone to school i like to leave their window open then i'll maybe a little while close the window turn on the this thing then turn it off and take it away because i don't trust kids when it comes to what this is but this one that i pick up this one will be in the entrance this smells like a very sexy man and this i've had a lot of people talk about it and i'm like you know what i mean just try it is the sand and fog product this one just smells so nice it smells like a sexy beautiful man you know when all these guys are so cute they're nice car it smells like that even the packaging is giving me like manly stuff i would expect this to be in a guy's house any guys that like to like light candle just have that next to your um it smells really really nice it'll be at the hallway or somewhere or in the bathroom when I want to relax and think that there's a man next to me, I'll just <laughs> I just want that candle. This smells really really sexy. The next one that I pick up again is the Twilight Ox, also by DW Eyes. You know the drill. This smells so clean. This one gives you. This would definitely be something that I would put in the bath bathroom as well. Clean. I just love it. I can imagine having like a spa, spa, spa thing in the bathroom and I have this on with some nice oil and a salt bath and a bath bomb. Oh, I can't wait to go to Lush and go, I can't wait for Christmas time for Lush. I don't know when they come up with that. Even last year that I was, I need to eat my work bag because I bought the, was it more the candy, the pink one. It always comes out during Christmas time. The Lush body spray. It was so sweet, but the dye down was so nice, and I love it. I can't wait to have it this year. So I would get the bat bomb for that. I think it's called candy floss. I don't know, but I'll definitely show you guys when I when I get them. Can you imagine putting that bat bomb, with some nice oil, and now put this candle on. Nobody's nobody should come and visit me. In short, 
I've, I've moved. I have moved. I'm not. Nobody knows my house. Okay. This is my third bed. This is definitely going to be my room. Even though my room is going to be very hairy, very girly, I want it to smell like money, like power, like hmm. Gosh, this smells smell good. And also by DW, I have the tobacco leaf. I love the smell of tobacco and coffee um, scents in my room. I don't know. It just it just gives me warm cozy vibe this you can definitely tell with the packaging is very woody and it just smells so great like i don't want to open it and smell it because i'm not like i just want to sleep oh and it has this um wood wick one this smells so good this needs to be in your bedroom i know sometimes my kids don't like the smell but like you guys don't have to like it okay it's in my room that's why it's in my room Imagine this when it's raining, raining time, the rain is, this is my house and when it's raining, you won't know until you open the door and look because it's so cozy everywhere. Oh, this place here, this is a God gift for me. Now on this candle, I also have a window space where I can put things. So I'll just put my candle there, I'll put like my pumpkin grass. I just, oh my God. Oh. I try to be like I've had enough of you, enough, enough. The last one I pick up is a vanilla pumpkin latte. As I said, I like coffee smell. I'm a coffee girl. If you want to take me out and you want us to go out, I think for my first day with anyone, it should be a coffee. Then maybe we can go for a cocktail or maybe we can go for food. But if you want to get to know me without me just eating any coffee, let's go for a coffee or let's go for a breakfast. Like me, I think I like food. <laughs> but I like this man, this vanilla pumpkin. So cute, and it's got the two thingy there. Also by DW. You know, I only like what I like. I'm sorry, it's what I like. I like, and it smells nice. Even to the last burner, they would always smell nice. As well, as I'm showing you guys this one now, I'm just gonna put this in the living room. I got this big one because I wanted to fill in this space. My house is not as massive as the other one. My old house because before my old house in the living room i'll have about two or three candles on because the living space is big but this one is very compact that's what i'm going to call it it's not small it's compact so i think this one will be enough to just make the old house smell and i also like to enter each room and smell different things like i can be here smell vanilla pumpkin go in the kitchen smell um some cookie dough or something it's really really nice like different room go in the toilet smell something something um i also bought this one this one is an apoko by apoko by and i was going to i'm still going to give myself a slap for this i just feel like it's very unique um i might not see it again but the thing is what am i supposed to do with this i just don't know and it's ridiculously the price not get sense at all sometimes when i buy things here i'm like ah I think it was 20 pounds, it's actually 10 pounds, but even at 10 pounds, I mean, what's this? But do you know what? When I was coming, people were asking me, where did you get that from? Where did you get that from? I was not like, maybe I, I did actually make a good purchase with this, but I just didn't understand what I'm going to do with it. I can put it in the kitchen when I finish arranging everywhere. Also, after 30 days, I mean, before 30 days, I can return it. So. If, I, if, if it's not useful, I, it's kind of useful. Look, I can rest my hand on it though. Eh, eh, it's too. <laughs> I just feel like it's going to be so cute. Oh, you know what? I can even put it outside. Guys, we have a lot of decorating to do. You know, I have a balcony. I'm going to do like a little small garden. Like when we can like have like a break. <sighs> I'm so excited. Like you can do like a breakfast balcony stuff. Like just small chair. Me and my boys. I'm not inviting anybody because my balcony is not big for a lot of people. It's just me, Jordan and JD. We have a little chair there. And at this other side, I'm gonna have like a plant, like like my own little nursery, like like a plant stuff. It. and because i can open my window like my door so like my living room can extend a little a little bit to the back the back is not that massive people should not start imagining things it's not that big but it's durable like i already put a shelf 
like the storage stuff down there and i've put my plant i have like two outside plants i've put them outside that plant is real there's a plant upstairs there's a plant in the boys room like i like greenery so i'm gonna try and make my own little um plant stuff maybe i can even plant i buy you more tomato uh, yam. i can plant my yam <laughs> i'm joking but i can plant some stuff maybe one day i also ask the kids if we don't want to do tomato we just you know something to keep them busy outside i know that and that's what it is i have collected so i'm gonna use all of these things to decorate the living room not the living room the bathroom and yes i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm so content now even though everything is upside down but I'm, I'm alive so why am i there struggling or getting angry about anything i'm not even angry again honestly i'm not it was just the process from the beginning which is about almost a week and some days today is uh, what's this date today is september the 28th uh, the month has almost finished so september the 28th so everything is okay um, I really really like so far so good. I've been liking the service I've got in this house Like I've called the council for some stuff. I know we're getting too much just if you're new here Bye, thank you so much for watching all the people. Let's just um, <laughs> So because um, I can't operate the eating. I don't really need the eating because this house is so warm who was I telling? Okay, it was Frank. Frank was like, this house is very, very warm, you know. My heating has not been working, but I don't really need it because the house is so warm. And I called the council, so they were like, oh, no, no, they're going to come. Normally, that this can my wood people. My whole place that they will, they will give me one week or two weeks um, appointment. Someone is coming this Thursday to come and help me. Um, I don't know. I think they said they're going to do something so that the eating can start working. Because I need to know. You guys see that my bathroom it has that place that you can put. Hey, you can you can put your towel. So I need that eat at the work so I can put my towel down so when I come out of the bath I can have a warm towel. <laughs> I can have a warm towel around my body. So I want them to come. Hot water is working. Um, there were also some stuff um, with the lights. So they also booked. Um, this is a VIP treatment. VIP. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this. And I will definitely see you in the next video. Bye, guys.